so basically error code 101 is an error that is related to your game connections between server the gaming server error code 101 and 105 occurs when your game cannot download the necessary informations needed to play the game at that time so there's a lot of solutions for this just watch this video till end and your problem should be fixed 100 percent now according to user reports the steam error code 101 often appears when attempting to access the store components or the profile page the error can be caused by different factors including steam server issues inconsistent network connections corrupted web browser cache firewall or antivirus interference and installation corruptions fortunately um here are the five effective fixes uh, to solve this error now the first one check the steam server status you can check it on google it's easy the second one reset your router just restart your router and also restart your pc this could fix but uh, do it together so that will work for you now the three check the firewall uh, antivirus interference so that's easy right now um, i don't have steam actually i just installed my window and i need to download some uh, other files first but also i'm making this tutorial only for you and those can access the steam now just open the security system uh, window security and then you will find here the firewall and network protections once you over here now here you can see allow an app through firewall just click on it once you click on it you can see here change settings just click on it now this time you need to click allow another app and add your steam here now you need to find the steam probably it's in c drive in uh, program files x86 or program file just open the folder and find the steam and add it after adding just check the both options the private and the public of your steam once you've done this just go back click ok and go back now the second thing so you can also go here into the advanced settings of firewall once you click on it it will open a firewall setting for you here now same things you need to do here you need to find your steam if you have already installed it suppose this is a steam file in case uh, if you have already added just select any uh, file and then press the s key to find the steam easily now suppose this is your steam and if it's not then you can just click here new rules and you can add it now it's uh what types of rule would you like to create so we are going with the program because steam is a program so just select the program and then click on next and then uh, path of your steam again select your steam click open and that's it click on next okay i'm adding here just temporary a file from my desktop or somewhere um, okay just post this is a steam right now i'm going with this now allow the connection and click on next select these three options and click on next just put here the steam name steam and no need the, uh, about description just click on finish once you have done this my bad okay now suppose this is the file that you uh, just added now double click on it and allow the uh, make sure uh, the action should be allow the connection and that's it same thing you need to do in the outbound rules and your problem will be fixed from firewall now lastly the perfect uh, that mostly work for a lot of people in fact i got a comment and uh, th just check it out wait let me show you recently i just make a tutorial on the steam 105 error and uh, actually that's uh, related to the network reset but you can read here hey if you can pin my comment cause i found a fix for error code 105 and 101 and 105 which is simplest and working for everyone you just have to do network reset and restart the computer and it will fix error no extra so basically as i said in the beginning error code 101 and 105 is an error that is related to your game connections to the gaming server so 
that's it you need to only reset your network and your problem will be fixed 100% for resetting network just go into the settings and then you need to go here into the uh, network and internet and here you will see the network reset option just click on it and this will remove then reinstall all your network adopters and set other networking components back to the uh, their original settings you might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards such as vpn client software or virtual switches so yeah that's it you can reset it after resetting your pc will take a reboot and your problem will be fixed if still you are facing any kind of issue just let me know in the comment section i'll respond to you as soon as possible till then just take yourself allah hafiz bye bye